I thought uh, while I'm at it, I'll make a video of how to take a Victor Carby apart and put it back together. Because I know there's a lot of things people struggle with, but it's actually really simple. There's not a lot of screws, well, there's no screws, only thing you can really go wrong with. Just basically the order of what the parts go in. So, first thing when you're taking off the inside of the carby, not the float and the fuel part of it, is up here, just pop this cap off. I couldn't find my flathead screwdrivers around here somewhere, but you just pop that cap off. Hang on. Ah, oh, come on. Scissors in there. There we go. One over there somewhere. And then, will be the big spring that comes out of it, which is popped off somewhere, I'll find it later. Spring that goes on there, and sits up in there. Next thing you do is you hold the valve in there, pop this thing sideways. There we go, that comes off. Then, this thing, you just get your fingers behind that. Pull, like that, that'll come off. You have a spring behind that, directly behind that. Then you've got this thing that comes off. Push that valve out. And you've got that, that, that valve that sits in there. It looks like it's got a bit of, I don't know, it's just a bit of something gunked up on it. Then you've got this thing in here, which the throttle hooks up to. So when I pull that throttle up there, you'll see that that moves. Okay, take that off. Just pop that ball out there. Wiggle that around in there. Hopefully it's not stubborn. There we go. That's off. Then this thing will slide out. And there, that, that's it. You've got your carby. This one's really clean. It's perfect. But that's how simple they are. So it's actually a pretty good design, I think. But um, yeah, everything looks all right in there. Diaphragm's okay. That's one thing to check that your diaphragm hasn't shrunk or not torn or ripped or. Just make sure it looks in good condition like this one, which this does. I won't even bother cleaning this car because it came apart pretty good. So now I'm going to put it all back together. I'll do that in a minute. I just want to pull this apart and then, yeah, I'll make a video of putting that back together. Alrighty, guys. Okay, so on the ground in front of me, or on this box in front of me, are all the parts of the Victor Carby. <coughs> I hope. We'll soon find out if I, <laughs> if I lost any bits, but the first thing you would put back in is that throttle mechanism here. If I can hang on to it, that throttle mechanism here goes in the carby in there. Should go up so this circle over here lines up with where the throttle goes in over there. Should just slip right in there. Might have to wiggle it around a little bit. Uh, it's hard doing this with a camera come on okay there we go it's in like that so it spins freely that's throttle position off that's full throttle that's whatever okay next thing that goes in is you've got this thing where sorry this thing where it says uh, this side down so that would go in there like that on top of there obviously to line up with the grooves there there and there so it can't move like that the spring goes on top of there like that and the next thing you would put in oh sorry you take the leave that spring off for a minute this valve this valve here goes in from the other side so you would flip that over like that try and, oh well, I should have put that valve in first really but try and slip that valve in through the back there so it comes up through there I can't video that it's just too hard be two seconds okay okay so I got that valve in um, like so um, got that spring on there that thing is up the right way that plate now the next thing that has to go on is that diaphragm now the way that goes on is that lumpy bit there that will face down so that'll sit like that on there. It'll go over that spike on that valve. So I don't know if I can do that while holding the camera, but I'll try and push in that valve. 
try and get that thing on there. Sort of happening. Hang on. Really hard doing this one handed, but I think it's doable. Okay, looks about it. There we go. Now the next thing that goes on is this little this this uh, clip thing that holds it on there. That goes on this way. Now all you should have left over is the cap and that spring. So what you do there is you push that on like that. It's best to hold the valve from behind again. And if I can get that on there. Which it doesn't seem to want to go on there. It's a pretty annoying job as well. Okay, I'll just put the camera down for that one. Alrighty, so I've got that on there. Now the last thing that will go on is that cap, which the spring sits in there. And goes over there. Make sure it's centered. Bloody hell, this is annoying. Trying to do this with the camera. Ah, where did that spring go? Alrighty. Here it is. Now, set that up like that. That one goes on there like that. Most of the time it wouldn't fall. There we go, that one goes on like that. And you get this cap. You line the governor up where it needs to be, that governor, that thing for the um, governor hose there. Make sure it's always on, you don't want to over rev your engine and blow it up, which I've checked the governor on this engine and that doesn't seem to be what's making it over rev, but it's not fuel starvation, so I have to see. Now, you should be able to just push it back together, here a snap like that, and your carbs all back together and working. So there we go. Um, taking that off is pretty simple, just pull the screw out, you'll see there's only a few parts inside that. You've got your float that sits in there, you've got your needle, it's all plastic. Um, and that's about it. And then you've got obviously your O-ring around there. A lot of the time, if you take it apart, it will need to be replaced. You've got your decompression valve hose there. Your kill switch goes in there and you pop that wire, that the throttle, back in there and you're all ready to go. So, this seems to be all pretty, pretty good. So, I'll have to investigate further to see why this isn't running. Okay.